March 2014, pretty cold at night, heating packed in last night. Um, Notice that the uh, actuator valve switching between radiator and hot water, or both, wasn't working. Um, don't have a condensing boiler, just the old fashioned boiler at the minute. So, um, pump is dead, voltage going to the pump and to the, and to the valve. So I uh, took the top off um, and um, swapped out a capacitor to the motor. Um, the capacitor, remember, goes into pins four and eight. Don't forget that. It can go. It goes in parallel across the motor, so each pin, either pin, can go in either uh, either wire can go in either either hole. Um, my pump is a Grundfos 25 I think it's got a five meter head. So here's the uh, culprit, and it goes into this pin, number eight and number four, and then pins are numbered. So it might save you a lot of uh, um, money. If you're wondering, this is my spare pump. I'm lucky to have a spare pump. It's always been around the house. Do not know even where it came from? Just keep it nice and dry so I can um, do stuff. I don't know if, if this is all right. You could test um, it's the resistance tests quite well. So... Um, I've got no kit. The only, to test a capacitor, the only thing I can do is swap it out. You might be uh, able to, uh, if the pump head is gone, say your brushes are gone, I don't know, best draining the system, but you might be able to take um, take this head off um, uh, and to save you having to take all the valves off. I don't know. It's worth a, worth a look and worth a chat with your plumbing merchants. Anyway, good luck with it. If you come up with a better video, then uh, please post it. So uh, we... Uh, we avoid expensive costs, you know, the pump's 80 quid and uh, someone's going to need uh, 60 quid to fit a new pump, something like that, um, with call-out charges, so save your money.